What is up rock stars? I am heading to a gig in Iowa, actually starting in Houston. We took a little trip to Houston because my daughter made nationals in the fine arts program from her school and our church, which is really cool. So now I'm heading to Iowa and what do you know, we have thunderstorms and my first flight is delayed and I may not make my connection and we'll see what happens from here. It is gonna be very close whether I make my connection or not. I have to meet Jeff Alford in Chicago. Uh, Jeff is filling in for Jim Guthrie on this gig and uh, we'll see what happens. So we are due to land at 9.05 p.m. and boarding ends for my next flight at 9.08 p.m. Think I have a good chance of making my flight? I don't know. I'm hoping that the next one is delayed because it's the last flight out. So I might get stuck. Jeff is in the exact same position. And uh, here's the travel. Well, I'm here. It looks like my second flight is somewhat delayed. I think I'm gonna make it, but unfortunately, I'm not sure Jeff is. Well, I made my flight. Unfortunately, Jeff did not. So what a way for him to get introduced on the vlog. <laughs> I guess we'll see him in the morning. So I'm now in Iowa and uh, Jeff did not make it. He's gonna run a car and drive in all the way from Chicago. That's, cause that's where he got stuck. That's a three and a half hour drive. Well, I'm in my room here in Iowa. Uh, nice hotel. And my buddy Jeff Alford, who's filling in for Jim Guthrie, uh, he's driving here. He's still a couple hours away uh, from Chicago. So I'm just hoping he stays awake. I told him to call me if he gets tired. Cause he's, you know, he's kind of a morning dude, you know, more than I am. So here's hoping he uh, arrives safely. Well, it's the next morning. Well, maybe not quite morning anymore, <laughs> but uh, it was a late night last night and uh, looks like Jeff got in safe. So I'm gonna see if Greg and Jeff want to get something to eat. Yeah, hey. hey. He made it. Yeah, Jeff hey. Alford, he All made right. it. How you feeling, man? Feeling good, man. Long, uh, long drive from Chicago last night. No and, doubt. Uh, no doubt. Three and a half hours. Made it in then. All good. Yeah, you did. Glad to be here on uh, Rock Stars United. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You look thinner. Did you lose I, more weight? Yeah, I lost quite a bit there. So yeah, yeah you look good. Staying good. One sixty-five. Well, good for you, man. Did you eat yet? I have not eaten. I'm ready to eat, man. Me too. Let's do it. Let's go. So button. yeah, so we're on the we're on the Mississippi River here, but this part of the river is for years where all of the pearl buttons came from. That's what Jeff said. Is that true, Jeff? That's what the uh, lady said over there at the museum. And then they, they made them <laughs> stop uh, pulling all the clams out of there, right? No they, no, they pulled them all out until they didn't survive anymore. They didn't survive, and then a lot of places probably went under, but it was a cool little town. How was your trip in, Greg? Long. Greg decided to drive because he had, you said it would have taken almost as long to fly? Yeah, well, and I would have been through Chicago, so I might have missed my flight too. And But it was a nine hour drive, right? Yeah. That's hardcore. That's hardcore. Yeah. That is hard. He, he, he gets, hardcore. He gets, I was going down a blind curve on the outside lane at 50, and as I turned the curve, it was no side or anything, so no, you know. Yeah. No, no shoulder. So I turn. There's a deer right there. It runs, and then the oncoming car has a boat. It's like a 25 foot boat. It's carrying, and it. I slam on my brakes. It, the deer runs right in front of me. I go to as far to the side as I could, and I thought if that guy, if he panics, flips, or anything, that boat's going to come flying right. Right, right. And luckily, I don't know if he hit it or if the deer made it between both of our cars. We were that close. Wow. And I was just like, everything went slow motion. I was just like, I got to get over here as far as I can. I got to watch that boat too. Because if I have to dip, go in the ditch, which is about five feet deep, I'm going to do it. But it like, like those three seconds seemed to happen like over 10 minutes. It was weird. Yeah. <laughs> you can't die in the way of the gig. We need you there. <laughs> yeah. This is the cream for the coffee. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little heartbroken. Dry, it's dry cream. <laughs> I'm going to make it work. So on the drive, you listened to the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde show? Yeah, it was uh, from the 19, like, uh, 40s or 50s. It was a radio show. Old school. Old school. Acting, complete with all the 
music in the background. Oh, that's so cool. And, uh, and then I listened to Bonanza. They, I mean, they uh, Gunsmoke. They had a Gunsmoke. Yeah! So it was just the audio. That's a rootin' tootin' ride right there. <laughs> it took up lots of time. Kept you, know? you awake, right? Kept away, yeah. That's what I was yeah. concerned. I was hoping to find a little music store. I love finding music stores in these little towns, but uh, the closest one is 27 miles away. So, uh, that's not gonna happen. Uh, historic district. Right Downtown here. historic district. Uh, Muscatine, and there's the museum with the pearls. <laughs> Very nice. They gave me my own little sports bar in my room. I'm gonna show Greg. My sports yeah, bar. Get. I know, I got the, the cool little blue stones. Oh, yeah. I got a little, this is like Cav Sport, Kavanaugh Sports Bar. No, don't you start opening those. Well, let me tell you what we will not be having. But I like this. So I've got sound check in just a little while here, a little less than an hour. I've got, I've got a lot to do. I've got some video to edit over there on the laptop. I've got to warm up my voice, but before I do any of that, I've got to do my daily, my daily Bible. My buddy uh, Charles CPL turned me on to this Bible in One Year app. And uh, it's got some New Testament, some Old Testament. It's good stuff, and I need all of it. All right, it is time to go to sound check. Right. And you're on. No. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's when she runs away. There's no hiding. It can't be done. This hotel's brand new. It's, it's really nice. March. Check That's out the view of the Mississippi. I like it. I came in here last night. I didn't even realize the river was there. <laughs> I was so out of it. Hey, How are we doing, Jeff? There's a big river right here. There's a big river. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Obviously, okay, well, now wait a second. Jim Guthrie cannot play the piano like that. Jim, you need to take some lessons. Whoa, what's going on over here? He's even playing the sharps. These, these keys, these He's keys even playing here? those ones. Those are the hard ones. Oh, man. Wait, whoa, whoa, what's, what's going on here? And I guess that's why they call them the blues. Time on my hands, cool the time spent with Jeff. Yeah. So I'm back in the room. Soundtrack went well, and I've got some editing to do. I've got some yoga to do. Stuff to do. My intentions were so good. I was gonna do yoga. I let time get away from me. I took a phone call, and now I got to get ready for the show. So when I get home tomorrow, extra workout. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>